I'm a former U.S. visa officer, and today we're going to talk about the O-1 visa application. Now, if you're thinking about the O-1 visa application, it probably means that you have an O-1 petition approved by USCIS. The first thing I want to say is congratulations. Getting the O-1 visa petition approved by US, USCIS is a big deal. You've probably been dealing with a lot of paperwork. You've had to submit a sophisticated legal argument about why you qualify. And you've probably sent in a packet that's hundreds of pages long with all your credentials and everything to show that you really qualify for this visa class. This is a big milestone. It's a big deal. And I really want you to celebrate that approval. But now you have to go in for the visa application to get the visa so that you can travel to the US as an O-1 visa holder in the O-1 status and start your work, your journey there. If you learn anything from this video, what I want you to know is that the O-1 visa application is not a rubber stamp. That this is a common myth that, oh, you just go in and out. The visa officers don't really look at the case. They just say, okay, you're O-1, looks good. You're, you're who you say you are, here's your visa. This is not the case for all O-1 visas. And there are denials where the officer does not agree that the person has extraordinary ability, doesn't think they're credentials line up, don't think they have a coherent story, and are just not convinced that this is a good application. And so I really want you to know that going into this visa interview prepared is important and it can uh, help you avoid the heartache and the frustration of a denied visa or administrative processing. Now, why is it like this? Why are the visa officers stringent on the applications of some O-1 visa applicants? One big thing, and let me let me tell you a secret, is that visa officers don't actually know what goes into the O-1 petition. They don't realize that it's hundreds of pages. They don't know that a sophisticated legal argument was submitted to USCIS, and often that legal argument is, you know, a dozen or more pages. Um, showing exactly why the applicant qualifies and is extraordinary in their field. They don't realize that USCIS doesn't issue O-1 petitions to people who, you know, have weak qualifications, who are borderline. They're just not, because USCIS and the Department of State where the visas are issued are different organizations, there's different training, and they just have a different understanding of the application process. They don't understand, visa officers do not understand how difficult it is to get an O-1 petition approved. So when you go into your your visa interview, what you want to do, your strategy has to be really showing the visa officer why you qualify, what your credentials are, and what you're going to be doing in the United States that is going to make an impact. You want your story to sound coherent, impressive, and it really needs to be a pitch because you don't have a lot of time. The visa interview is not going to be more than five or 10 minutes, and you have to highly summarize your qualifications and your plan so that it sounds impressive and so that it sounds like an issuable O-1 visa. If you are from a country that has high 214B refusal for B-1, B-2 visas, this is especially important. It's because in those countries, visa officers are just more stringent on visa applications and they're going to be looking at the O-1 visa more closely. Um, and you want to be really prepared to show them that you are qualified for this visa class. Here at Argo Visa, we help people do this analysis, really understand how to present their case to the visa officer and help them avoid the frustration of a visa denial or administrative processing. We look forward to working with you.